Hi and welcome to yet another what I eat in a day video and uh, it's raw food for breakfast this time because I don't have anything else basically. Um, there's half a cucumber and two tomatoes and afterwards I'm gonna eat this oatmeal and uh, that's... Uh, I should tell you what's in there. Um, oats and water and uh, chia seeds and nutmeg and cinnamon. Um, yeah. And that's it, uh, and I'm gonna add later on a banana, of course, and some other fruit. See you! So, I added some, not some, one banana and uh, a little mango. And on the stove right here, already lunch is cooking. Uh, this is gonna be black beans and uh, potatoes. And uh, I have leftovers from yesterday, but not too much, so I need something uh, to add to that. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. This is going to be lunch. There's leftover um, vegetables from yesterday, one potato and black beans and uh, that should be enough hopefully. Oh, and maybe a dessert to oranges. It's about 5 p.m. and I'm already <laughs> starving. I did not have that much to eat um, for lunch. So, yeah, I need to eat now so I'm cooking now. And there is pumpkin, uh, onion, chard. Um, what else? Oh, asparagus in there and I'm gonna add some black beans and two leftover potatoes and I hope it's gonna taste good. So this is the end result and I do not think that half of this pan will be enough to satisfy me. So I made some oatmeal with water um, to make sure that I'm going to be satisfied after this meal and I'm going to add a banana and basically the same as with breakfast. And yeah, that's going to be enough and nice. And this is oatmeal with uh, blood orange on top and uh, please excuse me that <laughs> I did not make it pretty, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. That's it. So, welcome again this time to my chronometer results for this day. I ate all in all a total of 1,947 calories, that was 13.2% protein and 7.2% fat. I have an omega-3 to 6 ratio of 1 to 4, 1.4 grams uh, omega-3s, 4.8 grams uh, omega-6s, so I'm satisfied with that. Protein. Once again, I'm also satisfied with my protein, uh, nothing that I consider being uh, too little, not even methionine, which is 1.1 grams, and I'm supposed to eat at least 0.9. Uh, so that's fine. Vitamins. <laughs> there are two lacking. That's vitamin B3, um, only 97%, which is pff, probably still fine, and vitamin E, because I did not eat any nuts. Uh, but that's still pretty good compared to last week, uh, 71 percent, and there is no vitamin E deficiency disease, so I'm not worried about that. One percent vitamin D was from mushrooms <laughs> uh, that I ate leftover from the day before. Uh, yeah, um, that's fine with me, the vitamins. Minerals, uh, calcium is once again a little too little uh, compared to the recommendations, but I'm not worried about that since I'm fine with 600 milligrams because that's all you need to prevent osteoporosis. Chromium um, is 73%, all of which comes from tap water in Cologne. Uh, the thing with chromium is that not all the foods uh, that are included into chrom in the chronometer um, have um, their chromium amounts listed because that's a pretty new nutrient in the chronometer database. So, I suppose everybody who's using chronometer is lacking chromium. I should maybe just delete it. I don't know. Then iron, 92%, uh, which is also a little too little and that has been a little too little for the past three weeks or so. Uh, I've been thinking or wondering why that never happened uh, in previous days when I used the chronometer and I think that's because I used, I, I entered the dried version of the legume or the uh, the grain in there and you usually end up when you do that you end up with more calories and with more nutrients too so 
Uh, I'm still not worried about that because my HP is uh, 13.6 and that should not be an iron deficiency except if my ferritin should be low too, which I'm going to check pretty soon at my doctor's. So, uh, sodium, <laughs> I did not enter sodium once again. <laughs> One thing because um, I'm, I'm scared of seeing that I eat 400% of sodium because I feel I eat way too much sodium. Uh, the other thing is my blood pressure is 110 over 70, so no danger there. Um, there might be other things that too much salt is not good for, but uh, I don't want to bother with that right now. So that's it for this What I Eat in a Day video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, please subscribe. That's it for now. i see you soon. Bye-bye.